on today's ProPresenter show, using Automator to mass import and scale images for slideshows in ProPresenter. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I help you with Renewed Vision's wonderful presentation software, Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. This actually comes from a question that we got over in the Pro Presenter Users Group, which you can go visit and join up at facebook.com slash groups slash Pro Presenter Users Group. Um, and so... Let's head over to my computer. I'll show you the question, then we'll go through how to uh, do exactly this for summer camps or mission trips or just any of those things that churches do from time to time. We had a question from uh, Pam Seaver, and she said, doing VBS tonight, and the gentleman taking the photos will hand me his SD card with well over 100 photos, very high res. I'll be expected to show them while the kids are coming into the auditorium. How do I make a slideshow so that they advance after about six seconds? And can I do it as a batch or one at a time? I have a Mac and ProPresenter 6. So in order for this to work, you'll see I answered and we'll go through my answer. Um, you do need a Mac because the software that I'm going to show you to use is uh, Mac software. Instead of Automator, you could do an Adobe Photoshop action, and beyond that, it would be the same. But let me show you how to do this with Automator, which is a built-in utility that you get with uh, Mac OS. So I've got an Automator window open, and I'm going to first choose Folder Action, okay? Then choose that. Now I'm going to go to Finder, Files and Folders right here little finder icon and then copy finder items so let's find that copy finder items and I'm going to copy those from so this is the folder that this is gonna work on I've already created these folders so I'm gonna start with the pix raw folder which I put on the desktop you might not actually want to put it there but just for demonstration purposes I did so I'm going to choose that so when you put new files into this folder it's and you can call this whatever you want but it's whatever your folder you choose here that does this then it will copy them to another folder this is a very important step because otherwise you'll get a loop and it'll just go over and over and over again so I'm gonna again go to other and I made a folder inside of the PixRaw folder called Resized Pix. So I'm going to choose that one. So the first thing that it does, it sees new files in here, it copies them over to here. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here to Photos, and then Scale Images. So that's down here, Scale Images. And it could uh, scale them to uh, 480p size if you want to. Whatever size your, um, actually that's not 480p, that's uh, the larger resolution. So it'll scale that down. Typically you're going to want these to be shot in landscape mode. So let's say it's 1080p, it would be... 1920 by 1080p. So 1920 is what we would want to scale these down to. And then this is optional, but I'm going to do it just so that I can tell that something has happened. And in the future, if I find these files, I'll know what has happened. I'll go again back to files and folders, and I will go down to rename finder items, add this. Um, and I don't want to do this because I've already copied them from the other location. So don't add and change this to add text. 
and I'm just going to put a dash 1080. So 1920 by 1080. Technically, these are going to be a little larger than that because the aspect ratio isn't exactly right, but I'm going to add the dash 1080 after the name. I could do dash VBS if I wanted to, etc. Okay, now I save this, give it a name. I've already gone ahead and uh, done this, and uh, so I'm going to minimize this and show you the one that I have done already. Here, let me get this over here. So this is the one I've done already, uh, and I saved it as a folder action, so we'll see what happens. So this is all saved and ready to go. So let's bring over the folder, the PixRaw folder, and I've got some test shots here. These are from my vacation. So I haven't really even edited these. I just grabbed them right off the card. And I'm going to put them over here. Let's get this out of the way here. So I copy them over here. And uh, it's going to get them all in. Uh, once they're all copied and moved and everything like that, they should all, or the vast majority of them at least, be in the megabyte size. Now you'll see this resized pick folder down here is starting to get stuff happening. So let's go over to it and you can see that it's starting to copy the files over here and it's starting to, um, I'm going to get rid of this so that it doesn't ding every time there's a Facebook notification. So it's going to copy them over, it's going to resize them, and then it's going to add the dash 1080 onto the end. So I'm going to speed this up just so that you can see what's going on uh, with that once it does it. Okay, a couple of things for you to note. First off, look at the size of these. We're looking at um, 9.3 megs is the largest one, and a couple of these I think I sent through once or twice or something, but um, in general, they tend to be running between 5 point something and 9.3 megs. But the final files are up to 958 kilobytes, so much smaller. And uh, you'll notice that they have the dash 1080 added to the end of the name. So now they're ready to go. So let's open up ProPresenter 6. Um, this should work in Pro 5 as well. Actually, I'm just going to click there. Okay. I've already created a document called Slideshow. I did that by clicking plus new document. Okay, gave it a name. There it is. Now I need a hot folder. So let's click the plus sign, new hot folder. And I'm going to um, make that the resized folder. So just a second here. We'll go down here. And I would have done this um, ahead of time, but I want to show you how to do this. So I click that and it will bring in all these files here. 
And if it was still in process with these, it would have brought them all in. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one of these bad boys. Click uh, Command-A to select them all and bring them up here. Now, once again, Command A, right click, go to next timer. I believe the question said six seconds, so let's do six seconds. Done. That makes them all six seconds. Um, and then the last one, I'm going to do the go to next timer again, but I'm going to click loops to the beginning, and then I'm done. So, just like that, I've made a slideshow. These are some pictures from my vacation. As I say, I haven't gone through, decided which ones I want to keep and which ones I want to get rid of. You saw one of uh, my teenage daughter there walking away from my camera, as teenage daughters tend to do. And so now I've just really quickly made this slideshow. And with it being, as I'm recording this, the beginning of June, time for vacation Bible school, time for camps, etc. This might be something that you really want to use. Now you might be wondering why I went through the extra trouble of resizing the images. Cameras tend to take very large images and ProPresenter tends to not like really large images. So that just, it added a step, it added a couple of minutes, and if you don't have those minutes, I understand not doing it, but try it ahead of time to make sure that this is something that you can do that won't cause problems to have 155 megabyte images in there because I, I just hate for a pro presenter to quit right before uh, little Johnny's picture comes up and Johnny's parents are the loud ones that complain a lot. So this should solve that problem, and this is a way to get around that by using just a couple of features built into the Mac and ProPresenter to make it work. Well, I hope that's giving you some ideas about how you can import a bunch of pictures that are, you know, generally speaking, pretty large and make them so that they play a little bit better with ProPresenter. If you like this content, uh, then maybe you'd like some of my free ProPresenter mini-courses, which you can get to by going to tdm, short for Trinity Digital Media, dot FYI, for your information, slash Pro6Mini. Pick the course you want to take, sign up, and uh, enjoy it with my blessings. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity. Mm -hmm.